Welcome to the 7 Habits of Highly Successful Internet Marketers. In these videos, we're going to explore the techniques, tools and attitudes of highly successful internet marketers so that you can build your own business according to these principles. Now these principles are universal. Every internet marketer who is succeeding online is applying them to their business and you can too. So, let's get started by opening up this mind map and exploring the 7 Habits of Highly Successful Internet Marketers. So here we are at the expanded version of the 7 Habits of Highly Successful Internet Marketers mind map. Now this is just an overview, remember. In each of the following videos we're going to look at each of the habits individually and find out why they work and exactly how we can understand them and apply them to our own businesses. In the first video we're going to look at niche awareness. It's going to cover topics like the evergreen niches, how to research your topic and your niche, also, why it's important to drill down into the niche to find the micro niches, which are often even more lucrative. We'll also find out why most internet marketers are constantly looking for new markets and new places that they can apply their business skills. In the second video, we'll look at consistency. We'll find out why practicing the craft of internet marketing is so important, especially in the early stages, and why that regular effort is so crucial. We'll also be applying a principle known as the slight edge, if you've read the book by Jeff Olson of the same title, then you'll understand this principle already, but it's always good to refresh it. If you haven't, this will be an awesome introduction to it. We'll also look at the importance of accountability while you're being consistent in your business, and the importance of meeting goals. We'll even look at why it's important to have those goals in the first place, as many internet marketers who don't succeed don't have those goals. As soon as you start applying these, you'll see how important they are. In the third video, we'll look at traffic control. Now, of course, having traffic is such an important part of internet marketing and often gets overlooked. So we're going to understand exactly the different types of traffic available. We'll look at types of traffic like pay-per-click, list building, viral marketing and joint ventures as different ways of producing fantastic traffic to your business. Without this, your business will fail. On video 4, we'll check out systems. First of all, we'll see why they allow internet marketers to focus on their strengths. We'll see why it's important that they're measurable, why it's important that they're straightforward, scalable and replicable, and we'll be able to see examples of each of those in the internet marketing world. Video 5 will look at outsourcing. We'll find out why it's important that you can then focus on your goals as a result of outsourcing, why outsourcing is an investment, not an expense, well, how you can scale up your business, why outsourcing provides a shift in your perspective, and also why it's effective and your time management can be effective by using outsourcing. In video 6 we'll check out relationship building. This is a really vital part which I think most internet marketing courses don't seem to apply. So we're going to look at how you can apply relationship building to your business to just take your business to the next level. First of all we'll look at why it's important to have a like-minded entourage around you. This could be a mastermind group or just a little group of friends that are all doing the same thing and all have the same mindset. We'll also look at why creating rapport is important in business, not just with that, uh, that mastermind group, but also with your customers and your clients. We'll find out why and how to apply the personal touch to your marketing. We'll look at why relationships are actually a, a form of asset building, why those assets are important and how you can build them effectively. We'll also check out joint ventures and why of course they are the holy grail when it comes to marketing and relationship building online. Finally, in video 7, we'll look at modelling and mentoring, and we'll look at it from two different perspectives. First of all, modelling, why it's important to find systems that work and how you can model them effectively, and also why it's important to become a mentor once you have a certain level of knowledge. We'll look at the abundance mentality that goes with both of those, why it's important to model those mentors, what the mindset is that you need in order to make this work, and also why the business side and the teaching side is so important when it comes to both modelling and mentoring. We'll look at all of those in depth. So you can see there's a lot of information to cover, but we're going to do it in a very simple way. So let's have a look at video one, where you'll see niche awareness and how exactly you can apply it to your business.